Hey, what's up everyone? This is Matt from Matt's Builds, and today I'll be showing you actually a quick, uh, pretty cool trick actually. What I'll be showing you today is to change your Windows boot up noise. So you know when uh, you boot up a Mac, I'm sure many of you know, it makes that um, noise, that dome sound that is very popular and, you know, sounds pretty cool. So I'm going to change you show you how to change your uh, even if you're running a PC how you can get that same noise you can actually change it to any uh, wave file but for the purpose of this video I'll be showing you how to change it to the Mac uh, boot up wave files so you're gonna first thing you're gonna have to do is download these uh, wave files I'll put the link in the description to those uh, thanks to Mac forms um, or Mac rumors one of the two I forget, but I'll put the link in the description below. Um, anyway, so yeah, once you have those downloaded, just open up that folder there. You can, it comes with two uh, WAV files. There, you can use either or, either of them. Uh, choose whichever one you like best by listening to them, I guess. Uh, but anyway, so once you have those downloaded, you're going to want to go to your Start menu and into your Control Panel. Um, hardware and Sound is out of the selection or if you have it under um, I, the icon view, you just want to, you're going to want to select sound. But uh, since I have it in the category view, category view, hard, hardware and sound, and then select the sound option. And this box here with four tabs um, should appear. So what you're going to want to do is click on the sound tabs and this box will pop up here. And so you can see it has all the default um, noises that comes installed with Windows, uh, like sh system notification, um, change theme, sound, all that stuff. But you're going to want to select Windows Logon. So you can see the default one sounds like this. But we're going to want to change it to one of these. So you're going to want to hit Browse. And mine's on my desktop and find the file. So I'm going to use startup1 and you can see now it's going to sound like this. So now you can apply that and hit OK once you're done. But um, you can actually go in here and change whatever sound you want to whatever. Just remember it has to be a WAV file. Uh, so you can change your you know print complete for example or uh, close program. Well, actually, it, it has to have a little speaker beside it. See how this doesn't have a speaker beside it, so there's no noise for actually closing the, pro the program. Um, yeah, but def default, you can change all these different Windows sounds. So that's a pretty cool feature that I thought I'd just show you guys. Um, and yeah, remember to like this video, to leave a comment to what you thought, any tips that you have about this, or you know, anything, and to subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.